So President Biden is playing the blame game in a new interview. Shocker, according to Biden, quote, negative press is his reason for low approval numbers being at an all-time low. Watch. All they've heard is negative news for three years. Everything is negative. I'm not being critical of the press, but you turn on the television, the only way you're going to get a hit is if there's something negative. You, you know, you don't... Anyway, that's number one. But number two, I think we're in a situation where you have much of what we were able to do only is going to come into, come into play now. It's going to take time to get this done. How negative exactly is the coverage of Biden? Well, there's a study. It was done in the first 100 days of his presidency. It shows about 60% of the coverage of Biden was actually positive compared to President Trump's first 100 days, which was 90% <laughs> negative. I'm not quite sure how he could possibly be complaining about the press when truly it is mostly positive, which then I have to thank you, Mr. President, for giving us so much credit since we're about the only opposition that's actually telling the truth, which he can see, he, you know, he sees as being negative. So I guess we're the only news in town. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, the rest of it's just a propaganda machine, right? I mean, they talk about, like, what his favorite ice cream is, <laughs> like, things like that, right? But, I, but I, I do, I worry about underestimating Joe Biden and Democrats' chances for 2024 because we're, we're living in a corrupt country, you know, and, and what do we learn Recently, we learned that those 51 former intel officials colluded with the Biden administration to concoct this lie that Hunter Biden's laptop was Russian disinformation. These are people at the helm of great power in mm -hmm. the country who intentionally lied to us as American citizens worked with the Democrat campaign before an election. And then you've got the Secretary of State, Blinken, also lying about his relationship with Hunter Biden and the fact that they had emailed, previously lied to Congress in that regard. So, you know, there's no telling what these people are willing to do to try to win and rig an election. So I, I just, I worry about underestimating Democrats heading into 2024, even though Joe Biden's a hot mess. Here's what, speaking of hot mess, President Biden says about Hunter um, and how Hunter has impacted his presidency by making him feel proud. Oh, gosh. My son's done nothing wrong. I trust him. I have faith in him. And it impacts my presidency by making me feel proud of him. Mm. Okay, I'm a parent, so I know what it feels like to feel proud. I also know what it feels like to curse out my children I don't for think doing bad things. Doing the things Hunter I don't let my children get away with the following. Um, Fox News first reported in December 2020 that Hunter Biden was the target of a grand jury investigation prompted in part by suspicious activity reports regarding suspicious foreign transactions. Fox also learned Biden was being investigated for two misdemeanor charges, tax filing charges, a felony tax evasion charge, and a false statement charge over a gun purchase. Now, as a parent, would you <laughs> say, so I am so proud of you, Hunter. <laughs> so I think you and I I probably come from the exact same school of parenting. Mm -hmm. One is you lie to your children about everything you did yes. and say you did Absolutely. Didn't do it. I was an excellent student. No, I don't want throughout. my kids to grow up to be the teenager I was. Right. I can tell you that right Precisely. Now. <laughs> then, but when it comes to dealing with them and what they do, you never lie to them. No. It's the truth police every day. And you never tell them they're good at something they're terrible at. Yeah. Because it's, and I think you would agree, you don't, you, you don't, you, you wreck a child if you lie to them like this. And, and you, is there any wonder the guy winds up a, you know, well, whatever he's done. Yeah. But I mean, he, the, listening to Biden complain about the press is the most ridiculous thing I've ever... This entire... His entire administration is a figment of the press's uh, imagination. And just this weekend, or last weekend, whatever it was, at the White House clown show, um, the, the Washington Post was given an award by a reporter for capturing Biden's spirit and, uh, even and, and, do, and doing a story about his, uh, Joe Biden's deep abiding Catholic uh, faith. So, you know, the idea that, that, that yep. Joe Biden is up against like this miserable anti, you know, Biden press, it's absurd. Yeah, and they just gushed over his yeah. recent trip to uh, Ireland, oh, yeah. which, by the way, President which, Biden couldn't even remember. Which was a family until junket. Until a child had to reach yeah, yeah, out, remember? And he's like, Ireland! I can't, I'm losing my voice, but it was much higher pitched. Watch. If you saw the images today in the video of the president meeting with thousands of people who waited on the streets for hours in the frigid cold, you might think that you're seeing a Hollywood star or the equivalent here in Ireland. There are hundreds uh, of people lining the streets here, uh, and the scenes are quite reminiscent um, 
of uh, 60 years ago when Pre President John F. Kennedy, uh, the first Irish Catholic uh, president, uh, visited Ireland. It has been ju just such a joyful, a joyful trip. Uh, for Joe Biden and for the people of Ireland. And you can see that in the headlines. I know back in the States, a lot of people focusing on a few gaffes. Uh, they're not focusing yes. on that in Ireland. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, you know, the president, as you recall, Tom, did not remember that he was in Ireland when he was asked, when's the last place that you went? Yeah. And he was also asked about uh, being an 82-year-old Biden and being back in the White House and how that would look. Can you just do an impromptu Biden impression for us? Well, you know, you got, I, I don't blame... It's my favorite thing in the world. Julie, I don't blame him for forgetting that he was in Ireland because it's just like being in the U.S. for him. He's riding around in a limo with a squint and he's just watching the world go by through tinted glass. So why would he do anything? Uh, well, uh, watch what I do. That's what he always says. Watch, uh, watch what I do. Watch oh. what I do. We are. We're watching you fall upstairs. <laughs> I mean, so, and off a bike. Yeah, exactly. But, you know, Lisa, I'm with you. I think we can underestimate him because he is obviously, co he is cognitively, uh, his cognitive abilities are enough to hurt the country because his policies are what's hurting the country. So, in essence... If you look at my politics, all right, I'm right wing. If I had an 82-year-old uh, an who seemed to be showing signs of dementia, I would vote for him over Joe Biden. I would vote for him over Gavin Newsom because, to me, it's not that important. It's the policies. So I think Republicans should remember that. And instead of calling him old Sleepy Joe, oh, look at how cute he is, the way he can't remember where he's going. It's like he remembers enough to do a lot of damage, and I think Republicans should focus on that. That's a good but see, but the problem is, and, th and this is the problem with your impersonation of him, I can no longer differentiate between your impersonation of him and Joe Biden. So I'm, I'm, I'm now where I think... Are you he, Joe Biden? I think, I mean... <laughs> I've never, we've never seen you and Joe Biden... In the same room. In the same room at the same time. Well, that's the thing. You know, I think sometimes he might be watching Fox. Is he living in your house? He might be watching you have him in your basement? Because he, my daughter actually said the other day, Dad, he's starting to do you. <laughs> <laughs> It's didn't honestly he, my favorite thing. We have to go, though, guys. We're getting a hard wrap here. He, yeah, <laughs> yes, exactly. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.